Welcome back to the video. Last time we this fought with Olga and the men have Russian Russians are in control. Able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do. Wolf We've ID the old man. Who is he? We've ID the old man. Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich. Remember him? One of Ocelot's allies. Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the cipher. A Marine cipher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. Something's this going on. This is going to be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? Crap, what'd you do now, Otacon? We dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? Those are always trusted. Never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? E. E. Her name is Emma, but Emma? I always call her E.E. E. Emma Emmerich? Emmerich? Yeah, yeah, serious? It just caught my eye, you know? I figured it cruel. was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? Of course. I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marines M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise cool. too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Universal Service Pistol? I don't know. I forget what USP stands for. Pick up Olga. She won't wake up, and if you kill her, it ends the game. Well, you can't really kill her. They don't give you anything to kill her with. But you get some rations over here. And you can shimmy along here. Shimmy shimmy. Snake. All right, so let's climb up to the crow's nest. Get a nice view of the rain. Now, depending on if you're playing the original or the substance one, there might be items in the crow's nest. And I think you get a silencer for the USP if you're playing on very easy in the subsistence. And we get thermal goggles. Uh, this just uses the traditional red. The subsistence updated it to the different various colors like you would normally see. Doesn't help you too much right now. There we go. We've made it down. No ammo. Oh, we have a bad guy who's coming up here to check. And then we'll just take care of him. There we go. We took care of him. You can see they heard gunshots coming from up here. And then we get a white cardboard box. Which does absolutely nothing. Uh, this is, I guess this is just here as a gag item or something. It doesn't actually do anything useful. So let's get back into the ship now. Dry out. It's a little colder. There. Now we get a USB. Also, every time you use, just like before, if you use a magazine, it'll store it in your inventory. And you can use those to distract guards. I don't plan on doing that. Keep in mind, USB is still loud, but, uh... Down here. The guards respawn, but they respawn in different areas.
right here. If you try to walk through here, it uh, some red wires. Shoot the fire extinguisher here. Okay, aiming controls are a little funky. There we go. So if you hit any of those red wires, you'll pretty much set off a bomb. You'll set us up the bomb and uh, the ship will explode. Never good. It's not good at all. And here we have the pantry. And we're going to drag the guy in here. And we're going to get ourselves another cardboard box, a little more useful one. Although I still don't know how to get these to work, they still never work for me. Also when you walk in here, a guard might randomly show up and stand there for a while, just so you know. like that and sneezing seems to always help happen just right there all the time all right so head back down yeah, it's still dead and the alarm's canceled we'll just tie him in here for now pick him up when we're done you can now shoot the uh now shoot the uh, camera if you want, but I'm not going to waste the bullets. This door is sealed shut, you won't be able to make it through. Seriously? I'll take some Pinez Peps. Pinez Peps sometimes lowers, uh, reduces the spasms even from sneezing, so... <laughs> Out that way, but I think I'll head down here. So, neat thing to notice is notice this whole. Oh, wait, wait, I think you have to. Ah, never mind. Not a good position, but the gun comes out when you use the holster. Alright, so I'll come down here. The other side is locked and you can't do anything, so don't bother. This one? Maybe this one? Ah! The dead marine. Kinda creeped me out the first time I saw it. Wasn't expecting it when you opened just some random locker. That was hilarious. Ah, 
know, somebody tell me. Teams. Use right shield. Stop shooting again. Seriously, it's gonna be annoying. I can rebuild my rations. I'm not doing so well. Wouldn't that? It would have helped better if I didn't drop down and pick up the wrong goddamn guy. Increase the in my ass. I thought that was a pain in the ass. We'll just hide in here until the thing dies down. Hopefully it will die down. Yeah, so the guards chase after you. They have riot shields, they have armor. It gets kind of annoying. It's really hard to get out of it. Especially in this area when you don't have much elsewhere to go. And especially when the snake picks up the wrong body. I meant to grab the guy, but he picks up the body. And crap like that happens. Really saying much, sorry, I don't really know what to say. The next part I have to wait till the sensors are offline or till I'm in intrusion mode or whatever the hell they call it. Let's do some squats while I'm waiting. Yeah, that was not fun. Some guy here. A girl, I don't know what the hell's going on. I thought I saw some ammo over here. We'll pick that up. Never have enough ammo. USB bullets, always good. Especially considering how many I wasted, but... Alright. So, here's where you need the USB. USB, sorry, not USB. And be very careful here. There you go, you gotta shoot all these control boxes. If you want to say out of Snake, there's another set of infrared sensors in place. Yeah, if I you see touch that. that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. 
Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? Yes, I do. Can we carry on now? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors <sighs> stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But the M9's doing. knockout rounds won't work. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun. I shall. If you shut the hell up. Okay, this one's a little bit tricky. Because it is... Right behind here. There we go. So let's head into the next area. And there we go, folks. In the next episode, we shall uh, continue from here. Verrazano Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. Okay, we will. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye.